The global demand for sustainable energy is growing, therefore we need cleaner, renewable energy. Tidal power is predictable, clean and renewable energy, which can be converted into electricity by using Andritz Hydro Hammerfest tidal turbines. Andritz Hydro Hammerfest deployed its first tidal turbine, the HS300, in 2003, and in 2004 this became the world's first grid-connected device of its kind. The turbine was a 300 kilowatt prototype and has in total generated more than 1.5 gigawatt hours to the grid and showed 98% availability during a prolonged period of regular production. Based on the tested systems and experiences from the 300 kilowatt prototype, the 1 megawatt full scale HS1000 turbine is being tested in Europe's toughest seawater environments at the European Marine Energy Centre in Orkney in the UK. The main criteria for selecting a site for project development are tidal current velocity, water depth and bathymetry, impact from wave and turbulence, access to grid connection, feed-in tariffs, financial conditions and, of equal importance, the stakeholders' considerations. The scalable HS1000 concept enables turbines to be adapted to specific site requirements. The blades, substructure and drivetrain can be adjusted accordingly, thus helping to optimise energy yield and more cost-effective energy conversion. The first step for site development is the measurement and evaluation of the site data. The resource assessment is one of the most important steps towards a successful site-optimised design, which includes array footprints and design envelope. The challenging process of blade design involved a dedicated team that combined different specialisations ranging from hydrodynamics, structural calculations, performance optimization, and materials. The substructure is a modular design which can be easily adapted to the different environmental terrains, such as seabed conditions and required ballast weight. The drivetrain is engineered with the most advanced tools to reduce the effects of vibrations, deflections and thermal expansions during the component's lifetime. Preparation of the onshore grid connection, like civil works, installing electrical equipment, connecting the cable and setting up the control system, is done in advance of the deployment of the subsea HS1000 device. The blades are connected to the hub and the completed turbine and other components are loaded on the installation vessel and shipped directly to the site. The substructure with some ballast is lowered into the water by using a standard heavy lift vessel with ROV support. Once the substructure is in position, the rest of the ballast is attached. Next, the umbilical is lifted and attached to the nacelle. The nacelle with the umbilical is installed onto the substructure and the tidal turbine can start to convert clean, predictable, renewable energy to the grid. The HS1000 device is now connected to the grid and ready to deliver power to approximately 500 households every year. The current stream drives the rotor, which in turn drives the generator, producing the electric power being supplied to the grid via the subsea cable and the onshore substation. The HS1000 has been designed for a lifetime of 25 years and will on average be serviced every fifth year to ensure reliable operation. The power produced will become an integral part of the ordinary energy being supplied to the market. Tidal energy is a clean, predictable and reliable energy resource. The subsea installations have minimal interference with shipping and fishing activities and the independent environmental impact assessments Andritz Hydro Hammerfest has carried out so far have revealed no impact on sea mammals or fish. Environmental impact assessments will continue to be an important issue and concern in all our project developments now and in the future. It is energy production in harmony with nature. 
tidal energy at its best. Andritz Hydro Hammerfest.